Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 2.11 from Sadiku book. So the question is in the circuit of figure 2.75, calculate V1 and V2. So we have a circuit that suitable for KVL here. We have this loop 1 here and loop 2 there. And we can just use KVL at loop 1. KVL at loop 1 and what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. So let's start by looking at this voltage here. The current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and I will have V1 there. And here take a look at this 1 volt voltage. And the sign will be from positive to negative. So I will have positive sign. And the value is 1 volt. And then for this 5 volt voltage, again, the current is flowing from positive to negative. So the sign will be positive. And that will be 5. And all of that will equal to 0. So let's do some simplification. Minus V1 plus 6 is equal to 0 and that means that V1 is equal to 6 volt. That's for V1 but we still have another homework which is find V2. Again we can play the same game here. Let's use KVL at loop 2. Uh, KVL said that the sum of the voltage will equal to 0 and this one here I will have minus 5 volt because the current flowing from negative terminal to positive so the sign will be negative and that will be 5 and now move on to this one now the current flowing from positive to negative so I will have plus sign which is 2 and lastly, I will have V2 here. The current is flowing from positive to negative. So the sign will be positive. And I will have V2. That all will equal to 0. Minus 5 plus 2. That should be minus 3. And that V2. Still V2. And that will equal to 0. And that means that V2 will be 3. Yeah, so in conclusion, V1 is 6 volt and V2 is 3 volt. So hopefully I did not make any mistake in my calculation. That's all and see you in the next video. Bye bye.